Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on Don't Fence Me In. Uh, it's going to be the Bing Crosby and Andrew Sisters version, which was used on Fallout TV series and Fallout the Game. Um, lovely little tune to play, loads of chords. I'm going to teach you how to play the whole song, but just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, it really does help me out, as does giving me a like on the video, give me a thumbs up button on that, um, and leave me some comments as well, if you wouldn't mind, it really does help. Let me know what songs I should do next, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want the tabs for this, and loads of other songs, and I'll put them on my Patreon page, a link to that is in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Okay, the first line, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five lines that we need to learn. The first line goes like this. Okay, so the first chord is an E flat chord. First finger A6, third finger flat across the D, G and the B strings at the 8th fret. We're going to play the middle four strings. Okay, and the rhythm all the way through, you're just going to play crotchet, so you're just going to play every beat. So the E flat chord lasts for two beats, so just two down strokes. We then go to an E flat major seven chord. First finger stays on the A6. Second finger on G7. Third finger on D8. And little finger on B8. Middle four strings, two hits on that. So, so far you've got E flat to E flat major seven. It then goes down to an E flat six chord where I'm using my first finger on B4, second finger on D5, third finger on G5, and little finger on the A6. So that's E flat six, two hits on that. Then it goes back to the E flat. So the first two bars you've got Bar three is just E flat all the way through, so four hits on that. Into bar four, and we've got an F minor seven chord. First finger barred from the eighth fret of the A string. Second finger on B nine. And third finger on D 10. Middle four strings again. You can bar the E string as well and play that if you like. So two hits on F minor seven. We then go to B flat seven, which is your first finger barred across all the strings on the sixth fret. Second finger G seven, third finger A eight. And that's a B flat seven chord. Two hits on that. Um, so bar four, you get two hits on F minor and two hits on B flat seven to get. Now you've got the B flat seven chord. The next chord is B flat. So all we need to do is add our little finger onto the D eight. And we've got B flat and we've got two bars of that. So eight hits down. Then into bar seven, we've got two hits on B flat seven. We then have a B flat seven with a, you could call it a sharp five or a flat 13, which is your first finger, E6, second finger on D6, third finger on G7, little finger on B7. Just mute off the A string. And then we've got E flat for a bar. Okay, so hopefully that's all made sense. Let's see if we can play that line. Here we go. Oh, one, two, three, four.
Okay, on to the next line. And we're gonna use some of the same chords, but some of them change. So we've got E flat, then E flat major seven. And we then have E flat seven, which we haven't seen yet. First fingers barred on the sixth fret from the A string downwards. Third finger A eight, sorry, third finger on D eight. My mistake, little finger on B eight. So first chord in bar 10, and that's E flat seven. It then goes back to an E flat. So bars nine and 10, you've got E flat, E flat major seven, E flat seven, and then E flat. So you get this. Into bar 11, and we've got an A flat chord. Now we played a B flat chord before on the previous line. Just move that down two frets to the fourth fret, and you get A flat. So first finger barred at the fourth fret, second finger G5, A6 with your third finger, and little finger on D6. And we've got a whole bar of 11, and then two beats in bar 12. And then we've got this D flat nine chord, which is first finger on D3, second finger on A4, third finger flat across the G and the B strings. It could play the E as well on the fourth fret. So hopefully that makes sense. D flat nine, then a bar of E flat. And then bar 14, we have a C7. First finger barred on the eighth fret. Second finger on G9. Third finger on A10. Okay, so that's C7, a whole bar of that. Bar 15, and we've got an F9 chord. Same shape that you used for the D flat nine, but we just go up to the eighth fret with the second finger and first finger on seven. So first finger D7, third finger on A8, and third finger across G and B8. Two beats on that, two beats on B flat, and then four beats on E flat. Okay, so let's try the whole of that second line. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. On to the next line, uh, probably the easiest line we've got here. Uh, we've got A flat for two bars, then E flat for two bars, then A flat for two bars, and then E flat for two beats. We then get this E diminished seven chord in bar 23, where my first finger is on G6, second finger on A7, Third finger is on D8, and little finger on B8. So just two beats on that, and then there's a B flat chord uh, in bar 24. Just one hit on that, and then the rest for, um, don't play anything for the rest of the bar. Okay, so let's play this third line. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And then on to the next line. Now, this line is the same as the second line. Just one little change um, in the last bar, bar uh, 32 we're on now. We've got an E flat chord. We've got that for two beats. We're then gonna play the note A10. And then it will go on to the next line. Um, and basically, we're gonna play the whole um, four lines through twice. The first time it plays this um, bar 32 and then an, a bit on the next line, which we'll see in a sec. And then the second time it does something else. Um, but let's just play this line, here we go. So same as the second line, just got that 10 
on um, the A string at the end of bar 32. Let's try it. A one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's that line, and then we go on to the next line. We're gonna play 11 on the A string, and then 12 on the A string. Okay, so you've just got 11, 12, and then there's a little piano line that goes. Which is A6 twice, and then D8, D9, D10. And it does that three times, so you go. And then plays an A6 on the end. So the first time through, you play the first four lines and then you play that, um, uh, those four, so first three bars, sorry. You then repeat all the way through. And then instead of playing um, the bar 32 that was on the previous line, the last bar, we go on to bar 36 instead, so we've got a second time bar. And we've got E flat for a bar, uh, four hits on that, then F9 for two beats, then B flat for two beats, then E flat, move up a semitone, and then back down, so it goes. And that's the whole song. So if we just play from bar 36, you get. And that's the whole song. Okay, so there's loads to get through there. So let's try and play the whole thing all the way through. Here we go. A one, two, three, four.
So there you have it, that's Don't Fence Me In, as used on Fallout. It's a lovely little tune. Hopefully you've enjoyed this lesson and found it useful. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, leave me some comments in the comment section. I do read every comment, so just say hi if you wanna say hi. Let me know what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you wanna support me, support the channel, and you want the tabs for this because there's loads of chords to get through, uh, so you can print them out. I'll put it on my Patreon page. A link to that is in the description. One last thing, I've got a new Instagram account as well. It's Andy Hillier Guitar. Come and give me a follow on there if you've got Instagram. Well, thanks for watching this. I do really appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.